Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gupta. I am the general medicine educator on an academy. I welcome you all to this particular session on the clinical sign of the day. So before going ahead with the session, let me just give you the updates from an academy. An academy has come up with these important batch courses. That is Mission INICT 2021 batch, Clinical Examinations and Procedures batch, Target Next 2022 batch, Target Next Integrated batch 2023. So in order to get subscribed to these batch courses, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Having said this, let me discuss the clinical sign of the day. So the question is, what is the afferent and efferent of this particular reflex? Okay, so let me just show you the reflex. Now, you should know the procedure. Right, so what is being elicited over there is a jaw jerk. Now, how do you elicit the jaw jerk? You should ask the individual to slightly open the mouth and you have to keep the index finger over the chin and with the help of the knee hammer, you have to tap over the index finger. And what is the normal movement and what will be the abnormal movement? The normal movement is that you will have minimal closure of the mouth. But when do you think the reflex is exaggerated? Also in this patient, the reflex is exaggerated. There is excessive closure of the mouth. So if you see the options, trigeminal and facial nerve, ophthalmic and mandibular division of the fifth nerve, mandibular division afferent, mandibular division efferent of the fifth nerve, maxillary division afferent, mandibular division efferent. So what is the afferent and efferent of this particular reflex? Let me tell you, the afferent is also the mandibular division and efferent is also the mandibular division of the nerve. Okay. Now, and another name of this particular reflex, it is called as masseter reflex. Now, another important multiple choice question is that afferent, I said you, mandibular division, but which fibers of mandibular division will be acting as the afferent? It is 1A motor fibers in the mandibular division is the one which will carry the afferent of your jaw jerk or the masseter reflex. And the efferent, the fibers traveling from motor nucleus of the trigeminal nerve via the same mandibular division. Now, you should know that this is another important multiple choice question. In which clinical scenarios you have the exaggerated jaw jerk? Exaggerated jaw jerk is seen in patients with a pseudobulbar palsy. Next. Why is it called masseter reflex? Because for the closure of the jaw, whenever you do that masseter reflex, it is the masseter which gets contracted. That is the reason why it is called masseter reflex. Now, what will be the homework of the day? So, this is the image related to your trigeminal nerve. Tell me, what is the diagnosis of this clinical condition, right? I have just rounded up in red. Please tell me, what is the diagnosis? I'll give you a clue. It's an infection. And if so, which particular division of the trigeminal nerve is affected in this patient? So this will be the homework of the day. So please answer this question in the comment box. I will revert back to you with the correct answer. Having said this, let me wind up this session by informing you the limited time offer from an academy. So the prices have drastically reduced, right? And you can use this advantage by using my code LiveMed, where you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Thank you very much and see you again in the next session.